harvest slash Thanksgiving. This is the Thanksgiving tablescape. I haven't did one in a while. I will make sure that I will link the year before and my first year on YouTube down in the playlist, Thanksgiving playlist. I also have some other helpful videos in there. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Hope and I do some of everything on my channel. Things that I love. I'm a mom and a wife. I do DIYs. I'm gonna try to record them. I like to do tablescapes for my family. Um, I try to do them the most creative that I try to be creative with the tablescape and I really like to incorporate things that you can buy like from the Target One Spot, I love the One Spot, Dollar Tree and just incorporate old things that I have with new things and also from other stores that I think that I should add to the table. So I hope you enjoyed this year. I didn't do one last year. I don't know if I said that a minute ago or not. Um, this year I kind of wanted to do with a rustic I wanted to start with the mason jars that I did for the wedding and kind of went from there so I'm really liking the rustic um, natural thing this year and but I still like traditional and I also like glam so try to incorporate all those together and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy it let me know if you have any questions down in the comments there are some clips that I want to clip with this, so I want to do it vlog style, and they're trying to keep side upstairs for me. But I also want to say thank you guys for supporting my channel always. I don't say that a whole lot, but I do appreciate it. And over the years, you guys have given me so much confidence in um, just having a creative outlet, and also um, recently with my weight loss journey. So many things, you guys, and I don't tell you guys thank you enough, and I do appreciate you. Um, the one thing that I do want to share has been on my heart for a long time is that um, with this tablescape or with any other thing I learned through my YouTube journey is just to take your time. That's the number one tip, especially if you're a YouTuber. Take your time. Everyone journey journey on YouTube is totally different. And I try my best to get the videos out faster to you guys, but I've learned that through that it can make me frustrated um, and I have so much going on and so I just want to tell you guys don't stress about it we have so much social media and YouTube that even I get stressed and overwhelmed with it a lot of times and I don't share that and you don't see that but I do and I just want to tell you especially as moms and if you're a busy working woman and you're trying to juggle so many things and a stay-at-home mom you can be so stressed because you never get a break from the kids and so forth trust me I know so just take your time that's what I do now yeah and you'll get there eventually yeah, a lot of times when you see things I have learned how to balance and juggle things but I think I got it and I'm um, just taking my time and then if it doesn't get done it doesn't get done so anyway I hope you guys enjoy it started with the mason jar DIY I picked up this elephant color Waverly paint from Walmart and then also in this video I'm showing plaster the white color but I end up using ivory on the painting over the plaster color so you can find it at Walmart also these ball mason jars are from Walmart as well and the chalk paint dries really quickly so I'm just showing here where I use one coat of the gray elephant and then a coat of the plaster but I realized oh this is the DIY for the wedding I need to use ivory so I'm just using a foam brush that you can get from any craft store also from Walmart and this is after it has dried overnight and I'm just using the sand block as well that you can find from Dollar Tree and just going over the edges it doesn't have to be smooth it doesn't have to be even it doesn't have to be perfect
Dollar Tree as well. I used a natural color and around the rim of it. And if you just keep going around in circles at the rim, it really stays in place. It's up to you if you want to glue it down. And I also picked up these placements from Better Homes and Gardens. Placements, I only purchased four of them. This runner from the Target One Spot. I actually picked up two for my table because I used a insert this year and then the fabric napkins they come in a two pack and then also the appetizer plates i pick up the sage green pumpkins from the target one spot and then also i showed in the haul video where i picked up the stemware glasses the blue to play off the runner from dollar tree and then i also had these white plates from dollar tree from years ago these plates actually I'm going to use at the end of the table I only have two no I have four of them from the Habitat Humanity and then also these leafy appetizer plates were two pack from the Target one spot as well also I will be using these gift tags as name place card holders and I'll just also use these clips from the Target one spot I believe I haul these as well
Thanksgiving tablescape was inspired by the mason jars that I created for the wedding. And I do have a little bit of footage to show you guys of how I created these. It was really simple. I'm in love with chalk paint. I've been using it to recreate so many things in my house to save money. Uh, dressers and furniture for my children, my coffee tables. I'll eventually share with you guys. So simple and then use some sandpaper to uh, make it rustic. I also use some of this burlap from Dollar Tree. It comes in a three pack. I think you get two of the natural color and one of the green. They may have all three of the natural. Then I also use the milk bottles that was in the wedding as well and I use chalk paint again. I think for these I use ivory. So you can use white and I get the chalk paint from Walmart. A little different. Actually the eucalyptus came from the dollar Target one spot. It was three dollars and I wanted some different flowers. I love the wheat that came from Dollar Tree. I should have recorded how I created it but it was really simple guys. Just kind of just keep messing with it put different flowers but I did put that in a haul if you watch my Dollar Tree haul I will try to remember to link it but all the flowers are probably gone but if they have these next year I really like the wheat they're really pretty um, pussy willow yeah the pussy willow here and then they had also had like this type so it's at least um, three or four different flowers in each one and I wanted without pinning too fast to make them similar on each end. So yeah, I wanted to use three and the two in the middle. These are also from Dollar Tree. And I think this came from like a stem of these little flowers here, I think. Or either these, it's on one of them. Okay, so I also showed a picture on Instagram, guys, and how I didn't have the runner at first. And I really like that look, but I wanted to incorporate it with the runner. So I had to take everything off and do it again. And I was worried that I wouldn't get it the same, but I got it not exactly the same, but I got it the same. Also, uh, these flowers, they came from um, the wedding that I had a few extra. A lot of things from Dollar Tree when they had that trio of different, I don't know what you call this, guys. All the decor that they had on that craft aisle with these little things here the little wood pieces and then these i had these last year i think i picked these up last year or this year i don't remember and then also these little wooden pieces leaves so those came from the target one spot last year so you can build upon your table each year incorporate what you have each year and it makes for a really good place setting and full table and i really like that as a year it gets more exciting because i have built upon build upon things so to play off the blue that are in the napkins i only have these napkins at the end of the tables because i knew that i had some cream color napkins and during the wedding, I let them use two of the napkins and I have no idea where they are. And the girl I was helping, Faith, she couldn't find them as well in her stuff. So I don't know where they are. And usually I put my stuff together. So I planned on using some cream color napkins, but I went to Walmart and I picked up um, four. They were in a two pack for $1.97 napkins. And so um, I pressed those, took the tag off and everything, and it worked out good. Let me just show you the other options that why I didn't get this video out sooner that I was looking at. And so I had this before. I used this in my very first tablescape, I believe. And then these, I got these from the Habitat of Humanity. And these are the ones that I plan on using. On camera, they may look white, but they are cream or ivory. And I plan on using, I only had four of them on the four table settings. But, um... I could not find the other two and it was driving me crazy and I picked up these two for the ends anyway so it wouldn't be matchy matchy. So you can have a really nice tablescape from items from Dollar Tree, Target One Spot. You just have to pick and choose what you want um, to use for your table and just build upon what you already have. And the only thing I need to do now is to just put everyone's name and I have a gold pen that I picked up from. Dollar Tree that I can put everyone's name there Then over here. I'm excited about my new buffet. Um, I showed you guys a while back and I finally get to use it 
this season and I just used a burlap runner that we had for the wedding and Walmart has these runners guys so it was a little long and I cut it and I actually could have ran it across my little cart over here but I know that they will make drips from the drinks so I'm not going to worry about that right now um, I just put it away and so yeah this came from Walmart and I think they were like five dollars and something or four something and then of course you guys know the give thanks is from the Target one spot the pumpkins the burlap pumpkins are from Target one spot last year this year Target one spot holding up the pumpkin the little acorn I think from the one spot Dollar Tree um, the little orb, I love these little orbs. I got it from Aldi. And then this is, I didn't show, which I plan on showing in a DIY video, but never get a chance. And this is just those galvanized um, planters that they had around the summertime, I believe. And I just put some chalk paint on it and then some sandpaper to make it look a little rustic. Added a candle here, really for visual for video purposes and then some plates for dessert but they also have a white plate on their play setting and then Target One Spot, Walmart and then I had this guys in my very first tablescape if you remember I'm running across my table and just put that there. Usually I use the great big drink sand but I wanted to use these because they were galvanized and I picked these up from AC Moore. They were $5, I believe, around this time this year. They may be all the time, but I don't go to AC Moore a lot. I was in there for Christmas shopping, yeah, for my niece. And I saw that they were $5. This lady was talking about them, and so I grabbed two. And um, I really like them. We'll probably have tea and lemonade in one. And um, I decided to just put a pumpkin here. I'm taking down all of my most of my harvest stuff is stuff in here. I wanted my dining room to reflect the season that we're currently still in. And so most of it is all down. So I just moved the stuff in here. The harvest sign here. I, you, I made this, I think, for my mother's day brunch that I had one time. And I just kept it. I used it for so many different things. It's Dollar Tree. All it is is a candlestick and one of these candle plates and I e6, use E6000 glue to glue it together. Then as well, this is just another mason jar. Use some more fall foliage and that eucalyptus from Dollar Tree. Eucalyptus from Target One Spot and flowers from Dollar Tree and that I'm about to put away. So I just put that there. And then here, the bar cart if you wanna know is from QVC, they may still sell something similar and I had this for re a really long time this was going to be my kitchen island but I have something else now and I use it for so many different things but over here will be just like drinks I may end up moving it because they have to come in and out to get to the drinks but right now I'm going to leave it here because I always have it in this other corner and I wanted it somewhere else I also put some mugs down here so if they do not feel comfortable drinking out of these blue glasses that's totally fine. I put these glasses here for them. Of course, Josiah really doesn't come in here too much. Oh, <laughs> he says, pretty room, mama, pretty room. And um, he doesn't come in here too much, but I probably will put these up high so he won't mess with them. And then the galvanized tray came from Walmart that was on clearance. So that is it over here. I will, I'm sorry, I didn't say that this will probably be for dessert and the food will stay in the kitchen. That's probably what I'll do so I'll have less cleanup because really it's just going to be us. My brother, I'm sure, will come. My mom, she's going out of... My mom won't be coming and because she'll be with my grandfather and my aunt. And my dad probably has plans. My mother-in-law may come and some other family members. So it'll be us but I always if you're new to my channel I always cook on the holiday because ever since we had our very first Christmas we didn't have anything to eat that night <laughs> after we took home our plates and I was pregnant and so I always cook something for us and then I just started cooking 
cooking, cooking, and all this food, and I started making tablescapes so that they can enjoy their food, a better environment while they ate their food. I hope this gave you guys some inspiration. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be what you love, what you love, what you enjoy, what you like, and then go from there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the tablescape that I created this year. And I'm looking forward to Christmas and all the other holidays um, this coming up season or next year. I hope you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving holiday. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks so much again for watching as always. Bye-bye.